Hello YouTube and welcome to Backtracks Australia. Uh, this, in this video, day two on the Overland track. So uh, I started this morning, um, I slept in the camp overnight. I thought, hey, why not? Um, it was a beautiful cabin with about 24 spaces and there was only about five or six people in there. So uh, we had a bit of a sleep in. I wanted to get up at 6.15, but uh, heard the rain outside. So I thought we'd uh, get a bit of a sleep in. So. We got up late, 8.45, uh, we looked outside and it was just absolutely fogged in and cloudy. Uh, it wasn't very pleasant at all. Uh, from there we all packed up and got ready in no rush at all and uh, headed out with all our rain gear on. Uh, so it was a short day, 7.8 kilometers, so that's why we're in absolutely no rush to get on the trail, which we estimated would take about probably two to two and a half hours for us. We did have the intention of doing as much side trails as possible. So uh, Lake Will is the side track for the day. Uh, it is an easy hike, hike very flat. Uh, it's a quick three kilometer return trip, which didn't take us very long at all. Uh, so we went down that option. We took our packs with us because we were going to stop for lunch. Um, so we got to Lake Will and you can see by the video footage here that uh, it, it, it was all fogged in there was no view at all we just saw a bit of water and a on a little beach and uh, yeah it's not too great uh, so we found this uh, nice little tree to sort of huddle underneath because the rain has not let off at all today um, so we sat under there pulled out some lunch sort of ate it my cross gets got absolutely saturated and sort of soggy uh, whilst doing that so we're all pretty cold and miserable we couldn't feel our fingers because it was extremely cold um, particularly due to the wind chill factor um, it is extremely windy um, on day two uh, it's just I guess the way the it's a I guess a plateau uh, not many trees so uh, you are very exposed to the elements so you, regardless of it raining or not i definitely recommend wearing a, a hard shell or something that's going to block the wind um, it is a short day so there's no need to worry about getting too hot and bothered in a, in a long uh, in a hard shell uh, yeah so most of the day was pretty easy going relatively flat in comparison to the previous day most of it was along sort of planks or duck board um, or it was pretty uh, good surface made of just rocks or, or gravel yeah so we rolled into camp uh, probably took us about three hours including the uh, detour to Lake Will three maybe three and a half hours so we went inside the hut we hung up all of our equipment to start drying out um, and realized that our packs were saturated we had uh, Z packs arc holes, and we were under the uh, assumption that it is a waterproof, or I say not waterproof, water resistant um, material they are made out of. So we thought rain, you know, we shouldn't get too much water, it might suck up a bit, but shouldn't make a difference. But uh, when we unpacked everything, there was a solid puddle um, at the bottom of our pack, and thankfully everything's in dry bags, so it wasn't a problem. Uh, but was just more disappointed to find out that that material like somehow a, a quite significant amount of water got in in just a short amount of time uh, anyway so we're in the hut there was probably two beds left uh, I think the hut sleeps about 18 or 16 um, so we saw there were only two beds left on a bunk of four so we figured we we've got a good tent might as well try it out for the first time uh, we've never slept in this tent before um, so you can see here's some footage of us uh, showing you the setup. We thought, oh, okay, we have a choice of t tent platforms. That may not work too well with our tent because it requires quite a few tie down points and is quite unique. Uh, but if you see here, we've um, thankfully there are plenty of nails and little areas we can tie our tent down and it actually got set up pretty well. Um, the only downside is, is we had to use a large tent platform uh, which could usually fit obviously quite a large tent otherwise uh, two smaller tents so we kind of felt like we were hogging it however most people did sleep in the hut so it wasn't too much of a problem uh, so this campsite had quite a selection of um, tent platforms I reckon there were about two to four other smaller tent platforms along with that large one uh, shortly nearby were the toilets and then followed by a small grassy patch where you could fit probably four or five tents um, on the ground there which is a bit more secluded 
Um, other than that, this t this area has a helipad as usual, and yeah, the hel the uh, hut was quite small. You can see in this picture uh, of our meal there. Um, behind that, there is a, a small hanging space. We've got all of our stuff hanging to dry. Or everyone's got all their stuff out to dry. Unfortunately, with the uh, with the cold and miserable weather, a small hut gets very cramped very quickly, and the annex was just absolutely stuffed full of everyone's drying equipment. Just one note I should make, um, for if you are um, walking please uh, on the trail, please be considerate of other people when you hang up your stuff to dry. As soon as it's dry, please you know put it away. So keep regularly checking on that uh, because we found a lot of people would just set their stuff up, leave it all overnight and then pack it away as they're leaving the next day, despite their stuff probably dried out after maybe an hour or two. Um, so that's just one thing, I, I one comment I need to make. People just be considerate of that because there is not a lot of space, particularly in this small hut. Other than that, it was, despite the rain, it was an enjoyable day, nice short one, and we got to use our new tent, which we were very impressed with. It's set up on the tent platform. All right, thank you for watching another of my videos. Please do a like and subscribe. Stick around for day three.